Hello. Hello. I'm Sarami with the Let's Be Honest Pattern Review Series, and I am in this third and final in this mini series on button fly pants and jeans, and we're going to do the Dawn jeans. So let's review the Dawn jeans by Megan Nielsen Patterns. <music> Thanks for watching. I am really enjoying this little series on button fly pants and jeans. I didn't even realize I'd already made three, so I thought it was a really good opportunity because I know we all love learning about what pants and jeans we want to sew, right? So uh, hopefully I can give you the skinny on these and you can make a decision for yourself. So the Dawn jeans comes in a few different leg widths and lengths. So they are high rise jean button fly with the covered button fly, not exposed like the glissando was. And the other thing is they have a yoke just like the Morgan jeans does, which is very typical for jeans. And they are intended to be a pair of jeans, but they are a high rise, whereas the Morgan is a mid rise glissando high rise as well. All right, so here's my Dawn jeans. Um, they are a um, rigid denim fabric, and then I did a white top stitch. And um, it wasn't as heavy as my usual top stitch thread, but it did the trick. I really liked how subtle it is. And then I also embroidered the pockets. I feel like um, it was to match something. I can't remember what, <laughs> I don't know what I was going for there. Um, and then I just put a little piece of ribbon instead of a leather patch on the back there. It's Liberty of London ribbon that I've had kicking around here that I haven't used. These turned out really great. The hems I left frayed. I got this uh, um, idea from a viewer and I kind of love it. You know, it's not really my style, but they don't fray too bad and I can kind of give it a haircut. I can always hem them if I want because they're kind of long. They're a little loose on me and you'll see pictures of me wearing them. Um, and if you you know, like I said, want a tutorial or want some help sewing them, that'll be linked in the description. Yeah, so th these are really nice. You know, it's got the hidden placket. Um, I used my own pocket fabric scraps here that I designed. And, you know, I put one decorative button here, the one that shows here at the waistband. And all the others, I just made this cap, the smooth cap there. So these are very nice. I also have the rivets too. I have the print version, obviously, so we're going to be able to see these in real life. And then we're going to look at the website as if we're shopping for the pattern and um, look at also the PDF options. So you can tell by the pattern envelope here, there's a lot of beautiful full color photos um, of two of the views. And then a line drawing, which I really love, is right there on the front. And they are the front of the pants in shorts. And it does say four in one rigid jean pattern set. There's a skill level here, which they put kind of middle of the road down here, right there, skill. And there's three out of five circles bubbled in. Size is zero to 20, but we'll get to that because they do offer a curved version. So there is extended sizing in a separate pattern file. Uh, on the back here, we have all of the views right here, front and back views. And then all of the, we have the description here. And it doesn't say anything different than what I've already told you. Uh, close fit through the waist and hips and classic jean details. There's sizing and yardage in both imperial and metric, a shopping list here, and then the hashtag right there clearly on the flap there. Um, what is one thing that's kind of interesting that I didn't notice the first time I, I did, I forgot. There is a little note here uh, that the fabric requirements include 5% of shrinkage, which I really appreciate because you just never know how close you're going to be cutting it. And it's really nice to know that they've kind of given you a little bit of shrinkage for your fabric because, you know, it's the worst when you don't buy very much and then it shrinks, right? So, all right. Let's get to the website and see what it looks like as if we were shopping for this pattern and we don't get to touch it and feel it um, in real life. All right, here we are on the Megan Nielsen Patterns website and this is the 
uh, Dawn jeans right here, four in one pattern, just like the Ash jeans was four in one as well because it came with the different widths and stuff like that. Um, it comes in PDF and printed versions, obviously. And on this one, they have linked to the other size range, the curve sizes right here. You can see, click here for curve sizes, which is great. The skill level right there. You love my big, huge mouse. <laughs> it's a little hard to manage. <laughs> um, and then let's see, we have all of our details down here. The pattern has, uh, the PDF pattern has a layered file. Uh, I can't remember if it has a projector, but I don't think so. I don't think it mentions that there's a projector. There is the hashtag right there and it's linked directly to the hashtag. So we'll look at that in a second. There is links to some resources here. So you have the sew along um, and the blog for tutorials and Instagram for photos and things like that. Um, and then here are all the photos of these jeans. I bet you know what I'm gonna say right off the bat, aren't you? <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna tell you obviously my personal opinion throughout, whether you like it or not, and sometimes I'm sure you don't like it, but um, I don't, I don't think that these fit very well in these photos. I'm just going to say it. <laughs> I don't know why, but for me, anytime I also see the leg cocked out like this, I'm suspicious. <laughs> I'm suspicious of everything, aren't I? Because you know why? I know exactly how to cover up fitting issues. Look at that, another leg cocked out. <laughs> don't worry, don't worry. I love these jeans. I love these jeans, so don't worry. But I'm just going to point these things out. So you can be, um, you know, ever vigilant when you're pattern shopping as well. And I know you really like those little details. So again, I just find that this is supposed to be close fitting through the hip and the thigh. It doesn't look like it here. All right. So we're just going to, let's see, can I just scroll through? I really can't, can I? There's a side view, which is really nice. None of these has them standing straight. You know, it's just a problem for me. You know, back pocket, like this to, yeah. <laughs> Leg is out. Yeah, but they're cute. They're very cute. Um, I also, you know, think that there could have been a little bit more sizes, you know, besides uh, this really small size. So uh, the, the, these, this is getting closer to not having those, um, you know, angles. I mean, at least we don't have the like hands and pockets like pulling the pants down. I think that that's nice. So, and like, I just don't think for me, this doesn't, this doesn't fit well. All right, don't worry, don't worry. All right, so this is a very small size. Um, and it looks to me like they, they put it in a size a little too small. I don't know why. It just doesn't, like, I just, uh-uh. Yeah, I'm going to be really honest with you um, because that's how I am, and I just can't. I'm a blurter. I just can't help it. So <laughs> it's okay. Love these pants. I love these pants, so and we're going to get there. Look at all this really great information you have. Um, it's really nice to know all of these things here. Uh, let's go look at the curve sizes, and let's look at the um, pictures there, too, because this is really exciting that there's curve sizes in this. That leg being cocked out, man. I just want a full front pose. Yeah, no. Well, that's a nice side view except the hand in the pocket, you know. I am so critical. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm not sorry, but I'm sorry. All right, so let's skip down here. This is a little closer, but just, you know, there's still a little bit of movement. These look a lot fuller on the bottom than the, in, um, like, um, well, what's the word I'm looking for? Like, just if you were to scale them um, equally, this looks a little fuller than the others. Let's see if we can find a, um, let's see. Oh, I might be wrong. This looks very narrow through here and then wide through there. And those just didn't look quite, you see, look, this is a lot fuller through the leg. 
it looks cute. I'm just saying, uh, consistency wise, um, they're, they fit a little bit differently maybe in the curve size range. And I don't think that's because of the sizing. I think it's just sometimes that it just kind of happens, you know? So maybe they wanted to maintain the proportions a different way. I think it looks good. This is a really nice side view. That looks so nice. I, I think that right there fits really nicely. You need to have some room to be able to sit, you know, a couple of wrinkles, that's okay here and there. I just don't want to see them in certain areas. But like, look at that, that looks, that looks that's a little long right there. <laughs> that That's probably not okay. But, and this, I don't know what the length this is. This might be like a cropped length. Look at her dirty shoes. <laughs> I, are those dirty? Maybe not. I don't know. I love it. Maybe they're not dirty. Maybe they're just natural colored. <laughs> I would be, that would be me. I'd show up on, oh, you need to shoe, shoe. Eh, I don't have clean shoes. <laughs> yeah, so I just, I, I don't know. I mean, some of these look, they just don't fit that great. But maybe they fit good, um, better than I think. I don't know. All right. Maybe I'm being harsh. It's been a really long day. <laughs> okay, let's get to the, let's just do the hashtag review here. Let's see, let's see if it's linked um, from the curve as well. Here we go. Let's see what happens when we click that. That's so nice. We can just go straight there, right? 4,500 posts, yay. I mean, hopefully this isn't sharing a hashtag with someone in Minnesota, you know, like the MN. <laughs> so there could be. But let's see here. Let's just scroll down. So remember, this is a button fly, rigid gene, rigid meaning that it's, you know, not stretchy. But, you know, there is a lot of these similar fit issues you're seeing through here. This, like, bagginess, this length there. I have that on mine. This one, this one, let's see. No. Hmm. Man, when you start looking at a lot of jeans, you start just doubting everything. Definitely not M and Don. All right, all right. Okay, this is definitely sharing another hashtag, unfortunately. We'll just scroll through and see if we can get... I'm hoping we'll see um, lots of different sizes. Like this right here, this fly looks really long for me. And that could be a proportion thing. There may be something about making the fly longer when it's a higher rise, just so that there's not a lot of um, solid fabric below the rise um, to the crotch. So it might just break it up a little bit. I don't know. I haven't drafted five pocket button fly jeans in a really long time for a company, so. Well, I, I, I will say I think that they're consistent. Like this right here, this looks like she must have taken those in quite a bit right there. I think this is through here is how they meant for them to fit. But this right here looks a little tight. So I, she probably altered those a little bit. Doesn't say she did. Maybe she did. Well, I don't know. <laughs> okay. I feel like you're see, gonna see a lot of people this size in these. All right. Those look like the originals from the picture. Maybe not. Those look like that's a zipper too, don't they? Because the placket's a little narrower. amazing world we live in. The sewing community is so amazing that we can make all of these things and share them like this and then just look. It's it's incredible. Truly incredible to me. I still just can't get over it sometimes. All right. Let's get on with the review. Here's a very like quintessential Dawn jeans, I would say. This is pretty good. I think these fabrics probably show wrinkle. This fabric probably shows wrinkles really easily too. All right, let's get on with the uh, fun part. Or is it? <laughs> All right, so let's just briefly go over the um, prizes. <laughs> no, one's, no one's getting a prize. These little trophies I made up uh, using my ideal pattern review rubric standards. Ideal 
Pattern Standards Review Rubric. It's a mouthful. Ideal Pattern Standards Review Rubric. Yeah, that's pattern review rubric. It's linked in the description if you want to follow along. It's a very hefty packet of information that I've put together trying to consistently rate patterns so that it's, uh, you know, objective as possible and consistent. So um, I love talking about this. So if you ever want to talk about it, let me know. All right. So, uh, so far, all of our patterns have been in this gold knoll steam rip, silver steam ripper area. We haven't gotten past that yet. I doubt we ever will, right? I mean, maybe. <laughs> Who knows? Um, and uh, these are just arbitrary little awards that I came up with, and they're super fun. So we've got the gold knoll, silver steam ripper, bronze bobbin, empty spool, and bent pin. <laughs> You'll use it if you have to. All right, let's do our review here. All right, so you can see I divided up the points into two sections, design and technical, and under each of those sections there are four little categories uh, that are each worth 20 points. So, um, and then at the very end, I give my opinion, which is worth 40 points, and then we'll total it up and see how it scores for the arbitrary prizes. <laughs> All right, so for the pattern envelope and for the website, if we were shopping for the pattern, and we were just looking at it from the outside and trying to see what could we see about this pattern. I'm right out the gate gonna give this a 20. Uh, there's a lot going on for this right here, right? It doesn't say like what silhouette body it should be designed for or um, let's see, what else is it missing? Maybe someone wearing it seated. Like how much can we pack in on this? You know, I still think that you've got a lot of information on here and it's it's pretty stellar in that category. I think the only thing that I would say is the fit. You can see, you know, the little bit of fit there that I'm having an issue with. It's right there, right there on the pattern cover. And maybe that's okay if you're sitting down in it, but it is supposed to be a little closer fit. So we'll see. Um, and it does look pretty close on that pink pair. Maybe I'm wrong. Uh, as far as the instructions go, uh, I don't feel like there's going to be any mystery how I'm going to rate this pattern because it it um, the Ash Jeans did so well, and these are it's the same company. The layout is the same. The amount of information they're giving you is the same. So the instructions are fantastic. They're clear and they're concise. They're illustrated with nice instruction instructional pictures. Um, they flow really well. You know, I have my little thing about, I like to sew the backs of things like jeans first before the fronts, because I feel like it's really nice to get your sewing legs under you before you tackle doing a zipper fly or a button fly or whatever's on the front. Something that is definitely the focal point for your eye. I really like to do the back first because then I can sort out how my machine's doing with the fabric, sort out any top stitching issues, things like that. And I think that that is, um, helpful but that's just my own little thing and maybe I don't need to talk about this as much as I do so uh, as far as the seam allowances go all the seam allowances are on the pattern pieces which is really helpful um, and then they are uh, a few times before you start sewing I think at least once these kind of the, the instructions kind of jump right into it and the uh, seam allowances are mentioned occasionally throughout so that's kind of nice. And you start off with the button fly. Very first thing on this pattern it is the first thing you start doing, I think. So <laughs> beware. If you want to come back to it, I would come back to it if you kind of want to just, you know, get used to sewing. So as far as the pattern usability goes, it's a fantastic pattern. Everything looks really good. There's layers in the PDF. Um, no projector file as far as that goes. Uh, there's none of the markings that I'm always looking for, like thigh, calf, um, hip stuff like that, waist, I really want that, and um, we're still fighting for that, right? Um, th that's not on there, but the pattern is very clearly marked. It's a very well-drafted pattern, and it looks great. It's very usable, and I think that we can give that a, a 20 as well. Marketing and inclusivity. I'd really like to see just a greater number of sizes on each of the patterns that are sewn. I, ideally, I want to see every size sewn, and I want it to be labeled, and I want to know what size are they wearing. You can't rely on people on in the hashtag to be, you know, telling you what size they're wearing or that they're even telling you the truth. They may have even changed it. So I really want to see it on the marketing stuff. And by marketing stuff, I mean the website where you're buying the pattern. I want to see all the sizes that I can 
And, I, you know, like I say, some of those poses and some of the, the things, I don't know. Um, but, yeah, at least we do have the two size ranges, so that's great. So as far as fit and reality, I think this is a little bit... It is consistent. Like when I see the size of the person on the cover of the pattern wearing it on Instagram, it looks very similar, right? It is very, that is obviously true, but that's not what we're looking for. What we want to see is it staying kind of the same amongst all the different sizes. And that's a little harder to tell, but it does look like it. And I think that a lot of us get a little nervous and size up when we're sewing. And there is already a little bit of, um, you know, some looseness there at the front. So it's kind of like bagginess. So it's kind of hard to tell if that's what's happening. And you got to remember rigid denim, it stretches out over the course of the day. So that's also a factor. And so if you want it to fit kind of snug at the beginning of the day and it is intended to fit that way. And then maybe it will relax a little bit on the first wearing, maybe you wear it a few days in a row. So you might even be seeing a picture of someone on, on Instagram that's worn it three days in a row, right? And now the front's kind of sagging a little bit. They're looking a little bit more like boyfriend jeans and you just don't know that, right? So um, it's kind of hard to tell with the fit and the reality, trying to compile all the photos that we can see on Instagram, but I think it's consistent with what we can see. So let's give that a, um, let's give that a 15. As far as the pattern drafting goes, a uh, straight up 20. The pattern drafting is really good. I really like the pattern drafting and Megan Nilsson patterns. I think they do a really good job. It's very professional, it's consistent. And when I pick a size in one pattern, I'm the same size in another pattern. That's always a good sign. So I'm gonna say that that's a 20 as well. I would have really liked to see the markings of the hip and the thigh. I'm gonna keep saying that until we get it. <laughs> um, that is really what that pattern is missing. I did make fit changes to mine, but that's okay. That they, they don't have to fit me perfectly. Um, we all have our own fit issues, right? All right, as far as the sewing goes, I think the sewing is good. I would really like to see the back sewn first and I don't really wanna jump right into a button fly. That being said, you could just flip flop that, right? And it all sews together really well and the instructions are really good. I can't remember if I got confused sewing anything on these like the button fly. Um, I did sew this and it is on YouTube and it'll be linked in the description. Uh, but these turned out beautiful. My pair, I, I love them. They are a little big by the end of the day on me and this fabric just stretches out pretty easily. So that's my only thing. All right, so for the sewing, um, yeah, let's give that a 20 as well. Sizing and reality. Well, let's see. We haven't really seen many si people wearing the curve sizes yet. Uh, I'm not sure if they're not posting or maybe it's a brand new pattern. So it kind of sometimes takes a while for people to kind of remember it's there. Maybe they've moved on to other pattern companies. They gave up on waiting for it. Um, I know there's a tremendous amount of pressure on these companies to uh, add inclusive sizing. And I know a lot of them are probably like, that's oh, probably not going to, you know, pay us back, but they kind of need to offer it. So it's kind of this weird, you know, in between state where, you know, you want to offer it, but it might be too little too late. At the same time, you can't not offer it. So I'm really glad they are um, because there's only going to be more and more sewists going forward. And I think that this is a, a great pattern. So I'm really glad to see it there. And I hope to see more people posting and hashtagging it in all the different sizes so that we can kind of get a better idea. Because um, there's obviously a lot of people under that hashtag, but they're not all Don jeans. So. <laughs> so as far as the sizing... I can't really tell on um, the curve. I don't feel like I'm seeing a big like variety. I'm only seeing kind of this one size. <laughs> See, here's the deal. I harp on this a lot, but here's the deal. If you see someone wearing your size, you are more apt to buy it and make it, period. That is why you're going to see more people making this pant that are that size on the cover because they're like, oh, I'm that size. That's great. I'm going to make that. 
And so then they're the ones making it and posting it. Great for them. They probably have trouble finding um, pants that fit them at that size. However, that means mostly what you're going to see is that size person sewing it because not any, no one else is really represented in the marketing. So that's, um, I'm going to take it down five points for that because I really want to see more people. I know that it's not their fault, but if they would have shown it, I would know, right? So, so we're going to do that 15. All right, as far as my opinion, all right, so uh, my overall impression experience, um, the fit could be tighter for me. I do feel like it's a little looser than I expected because it does say it's going to be fitted through the hip and thigh area and mine are pretty loose. I tried tightening them up um, and I just kind of ran out of time fitting for the stream <laughs> and I just needed to get to it. So I really like wearing these but they do get kind of big over the course of the day and that's fabric selection not just the pattern. So there's that. Um, I like these a lot um, and I don't really have any complaints to speak of with these. You know, they're, they're a, a beautiful pair of jeans and I really like them. Um, yeah, I don't, I think like, you know, I would really like to see just a greater variety and diversity of people um, in the marketing materials. And that would be my biggest thing. I would really like to see the markings on the pattern pieces. So I'm, I'm gonna give this a 35. All right, time to score. All right, so let's see here. Let's uh, let's put it on our um, our awards page. All right, so let's total it up here. Okay, so we have our two sections, and in the design section, it got straight twenty. So we're at the eighty points here. And then in the technical section, this is where we're kind of struggling lately, aren't we? Um, we only lost 10 points. So we've got 70 points here. And then mine is 35. So we have 150 plus the 35, 185. Oh, that gives it a golden all. Yeah, I think it deserves that. There is the sizing, the fit, it's consistent. Um, it doesn't have quite the fit issues that the Glissando has. It has more sizes than the Morgan jeans. So I actually think that's fair enough. You know, is it my favorite jeans? No, but that's okay. I think they're, that's just a personal thing. It's not because of anything that's going against it. Um, they are, they're becoming my favorite jeans. I've been wearing them a lot lately. So yeah, I think that that's a really good score and I think it's well-deserved for sure. And I'm, I'm really glad that they have the extended sizing and all of the information that they have is really wonderful. All the support and tutorials and resources so you can make your own Don jeans. And so I hope you do. <laughs> so what do you think? Do you think I'm being too generous? I feel like this is a really good pattern and I think a lot of people have made it and it's well-deserved. I mean, I, I'm not going to be unnecessarily harsh just to get a lower score. That's not really what I mean. I think this is really well deserved. I mean, there's so much information. They're they're just covering all the bases. They've got everything on this pattern envelope right here on the website. They've got extra sizing, um, and the, I think it's a really good pattern. So let me know what do you think. Have you sewn these? Would you sew these? Are you have you been looking for a button fly jean? And of the three, which one do you think you're gonna sew? Um, first, <laughs> I want to know um, if you want a tutorial on how to sew these or you want to sew along with me That's linked in the description as well as my rubric as well and links to the other two jeans that I reviewed So that you know will conclude my little button fly series until I sew another pair of button fly jeans So let me know what you think Please like comment and subscribe and I hope to see you next time for a let's be honest pattern review Happy sewing!